All right, so now we're going to start digging into both basic CSS and CSS3. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, which is a style sheet language that describes the style of an HTML document and how HTML elements should be displayed. So this includes many different aspects of design, such as color, layout, and fonts. CSS is completely independent of HTML and it can be used with any XML based markup language. So before CSS, styling uh, was pretty difficult, not difficult, but really tedious. Uh, we had font tags, we had things like the BG color attributes, and it just made a mess of the markup. It was all uh, jumbled together. So CSS has saved us a lot of trouble. Now there's a few different ways to include CSS in your HTML document. First, CSS can be displayed in style tags, uh, usually in the head area of an HTML page. Um, now, I, you have seen me do this throughout the course, and the main reason for it is because I just want simplicity so we don't have to keep switching in between uh, CSS files and HTML files. But generally, you don't really want to do that. You want to choose the next option which is external style sheets and these are stored in .css files. Alright, this is what you want to do in production and it's really easy to do. You just need to use a link tag and then point to the source of the style sheet. And then you do have the third option of actually placing the CSS inline inside of the HTML tag in a style attribute which is definitely not recommended. Um, it's best to keep your HTML and CSS completely separate. So let's break down the syntax of CSS, um, which is actually really easy to understand. So first we have a selector, and I'll go over the different types of selectors in a minute, but basically it's a way to identify what you're styling. This is an H1 selector, which is an element selector. Uh, we could just as well use a P for a paragraph or a UL for an unordered list, um, but note that this selector will style all H1s on the page. Okay, now this here between the curly braces here, these are declarations. And a declaration is a property value pair. In this case, we have the color property uh, and then we have the font size property. And I'll go over many of the different popular properties in a few minutes. So this is very simple. Here are some other examples. Uh, this is actually the same as this just in uh, more readable format and you can see here we have a paragraph which we're setting the line height to 1.5 m text align to the center and color you can see in this example we're actually using a hexadecimal value so this is the hex value for black all right and then over here we have a div so this would style all divs and make the background black and then the border would be red one pixel wide and would be solid Alright, so selectors can be based on things like the element name, as we have saw, uh, ID, class, attribute, and more. So an, uh, an example of an element selector, again, would be here we have a P for the paragraph, uh, setting the color to black. And then if you want to target certain elements, you can use things like IDs and classes. So for an ID, you want to use the um, number sign character here along with the name of the ID. Okay. Now notice over here we can also include the element. So this here would style all the divs with the ID of box one. Okay. So you can include that or you can not include it. It's up to you. Um, sometimes you may have uh, a class or an ID that's the same but on different elements and you may want to just grab one of those elements. So that works uh, to do that. And then the class selector is uses a period or a dot. You can see here we have a class called center text, and we're just setting it to align the text to the center. All right, and then again, we can use the element if we want to. Here we're saying any paragraphs with the class of center text. All right, and then you can also group selectors together. So in this case, we have H1, H2, and H3, and we're setting them all to the color red, rather than having three separate um, selectors. CSS comments are actually really easy. We just need to use the slash asterisk to open a comment 
and then the asterisk slash to close it. And this is a single line comment. Down here we have an example of a multi-line comment which both use the same syntax. So CSS colors can be specified in multiple ways. Down here we have three different ways to color a paragraph red. This one here uses just a valid color name of red. Okay, there's uh, quite a few uh, color names that you can use. We can use an RGB value. In this case, we're saying RGB 25500. So this stands for uh, red, green, and blue. Since the red is all the way up to 255, which is the max, um, and then the rest are zero, that makes it all red. All right, and then we have a third option to use hexadecimal values. In this case, this is the hex for red. All right, now I don't use RGB too much. I will use the color name and hexadecimal values uh, often, but I don't use the RGB too much. So here's just a list of some of the common CSS properties that are used. We have color, uh, we have different variations of background, that background color, image, and position, or we could just use background and include all of these in that one select, in that one property. All right, now there's, there's many other ones as well. I just didn't want to put them all down. It's just way too many to list, but we'll, we'll take a look at some of them. Uh, then we have margin and padding, which gives spacing inside and outside of the element. We have text align, float, which will float uh, elements and text to the right or the left. Um, border, we have different border properties here, color with style. We can also use the border property uh, and include all of those. And then font family, font size, font weight, which we could use to, to bold our text. Uh, font style, which could be italic, underline, things like that. Overflow, which has to do with keeping the, the, the content in your element. Uh, display, you can display as inline, as block, or as inline block. List style will help you remove things like bullets from lists. Height and width. Line height, which has to do with the space between lines. And then text decoration which uh, you can use to remove the, the underline in, in a hyperlink. All right, so those are just some of the, the common properties that we'll be using. All right, so that's just a very basic uh, introduction to CSS. In the next video, we'll jump in and start to um, create some basic HTML code and some CSS.